Last week on Explosion, I beat Eric Young, and then for no reason, Orlando Jordan stuck his nose in sure business. Oh, Bro, disgusting. you stuck your tongue down oh. Cookie's throat, and Christy, then he stuck his tongue down my throat. At least he tried to, but I wasn't letting it happen. I don't know about you, Magnus, my dude, but in Jersey, we don't kiss other dudes, my dude. Hello there, this is the Shadow Ranger, and this is episode two of Re-Gimmicking. This edition of Re-Gimmicking will focus on Alicia Fox and Robbie E. First off, my disclaimer. I am in no way saying that I can book wrestling better than the bookers or writers of any wrestling organization. These opinions are mine and mine alone and only represent something that I would find entertaining. Okay. Now, I, I, in a previous video, I mentioned what my deal was with Alicia Fox, and now I hate her being a heel. So, re-gimmicking Alicia Fox, simply put, is to make her a baby face. I've done this rant already, but she just needs to be a face. She doesn't look like a bad girl. She's awful at being a heel. She, she looks like a good girl. She sounds like a good girl. And when you have her being a heel, she just sounds like a good girl who's trying to be bad. Like she's some girl who, like I said before, she's either trying to impress a bad boy that she has a crush on. Or, or she's had her heart broken. So now she wants to act like a bitch so she won't fall in love again. She, you know, she's trying to hurt people so that she doesn't get hurt. And she's really bad at, at being a heel. And it's just depressing to watch. Alicia Fox is, she has a beautiful, vibrant, cheerful, bubbly look. She, everything about her is just, it, it just screams baby face. She has a beautiful smile that can make any guy's heart melt. You know, I see Alicia Fox, I want to see her smile. I want to see her jumping up and down happy. I want to hug her. I want to pinch her cheeks. I want to tell her how adorable she is. And most of all, I want to cheer for her. Um, look in, look at the link in the description box to a video of her in FCW just being this fan favorite, and look at how the fans just love her. Now I say give her the DJ Gabriel music again, and and, and maybe put her with a fun-loving babyface tag team, and they could dance to the ring together. You know, team up Darren Young and Percy Watson, and let them be the South Beach Boys again, and put Alicia Fox with them. Let her be the fun baby face again and give her, then give her another run with the title when it'll actually mean something and people will actually care about her being champion. Now I understand I may be asking a lot of the WWE on this one to actually have black guys on their roster that aren't fitting a negro stereotype and a black woman that is a baby face is simply unheard of, but I think this will work. You have Alicia Fox as a baby face that she has always been, that she was always meant to be, and you have a fun new tag team for the, well, well let's be honest, WWE's tag team division is pathetic. Are, are there even three teams in their tag team division? Look, you got a new tag team, you got some people pe that, that the fans will get into, uh, it's PG, everybody will love it. Wins all around. Alicia Fox. Make her a baby face. Uh, second is for Robbie E. Now, I think Robbie E. has gotten a bad rap from the IWC. I like Robbie E. I think he's a, a he's decent in the ring. And I, I just don't understand why so many people hate his gimmick. However, since this is re-gimmicking, and since apparently everyone except me hates his gimmick, I'm going to get rid of it and give him a new one. And I'm just gonna turn him face. So what is gonna follow is a short storyline of how I'm gonna turn Robbie E into a face that people want to see. First of all, we're gonna drop the Jersey Shore gimmick. We're not gonna call him Robbie E anymore. We're just gonna call him Rob Echoes. Uh, sidebar, sidebar for a minute. You know. Rob Van Dam, Rob Terry, Robert Rude, Robbie E. You got one too many Robs, TNA. Personal opinion, get rid of Van Dam and Terry. I don't like them. J just saying. Okay. We're also going to establish Cookie as his girlfriend. You know, they, they portrayed it where they're not technically a couple. That they're just 
a, a team, a crew, I'm gonna actually have them actually be in a relationship. Just Cookie's gonna actually be Robbie's girlfriend from now on. And we might drop the Cookie thing and let her be just Becky Bayless, or we might come up with a different name for it. But you know, you really don't have to change Cookie. Cookie can work as a name for the girl. All right. First, to get this thing going, we're gonna need a heel, a heel that everybody hates. And since TNA insists on keeping Team 3D around as singles wrestlers, I'm going to go with Bully Ray as the heel. People hate him, and if you hate him, if, if, you're, if you just don't give a crap about Brother Ray or Brother Devon as much as I do, you're going to like how this storyline ends. How this storyline is going to work, work is that Bully Ray is going to be harassing Cookie backstage when Robbie is around. He's going to be hitting on her. And when she turns him down and says, hey, I'm not interested, he starts getting a little aggressive with it. He starts grabbing her arm and trying to kiss her against her will. But you have Robbie show up in the nick of time. Billy Ray backs off. You have the same thing happen a, a couple more times. So then you have a match with Robbie E. He's having a match. He wins. Doesn't matter who's against. It could just be some local jobber guy. That whoever he beats rolls out of the ring, leaves. While he's celebrating the ring, Brother Ray attacks him from behind. Um, he knocks down Cookie. He hits Robbie e with a chair, handcuffs Robbie E, and then he attacks Cookie too. Not only does he hit kick Robbie E while he's down a few times, he he attacks Cookie. Now, now since TNA, uh, excuse me, since Spike TV still has the no male on female violence rule, we're actually gonna have to make, play this out on a pay per view. But you, not only does he do it, he does it with a mic in his hand and he taunts Robbie E as he's beating up Cookie. Like, 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 imagine Brother Ray power bombing Cookie. Imagine him stomping her, and then imagine as he's doing it, he's taunting Robbie, Robbie, saying, Come on, Robbie, get up, Robbie. Come save your little bitch, Robbie. Come on, Robbie, do something, Robbie. And Robbie's trying to trying to break the cuffs. He's trying to get at him. Brother Ray hits him with a chair, beats him down, too. He does a big power move on Cookie and, and on the chair. And after like a minute or so, the security comes down, finally breaks him off. He throws the heat. He uh, takes the key to the cuffs and drops it in the ring. They undo Robbie. Robbie immediately goes to Cookie. He's trying to check on her. You have the EMTs come out. They put Cookie on a stretcher. They put the neck brace on her. They, they carry her out. Um, you show him in the back, loading her into the stretcher. The EMTs are trying to check on Robbie, and he, he might be a little bloody from the attack, but he's pushing the EMTs away. He's only concerned with if Cookie's okay. They, they put her in the ambulance, he gets in the ambulance with her, he's holding her hand, you still see the blood on his face, on his face, um, and the last thing we hear Robbie say, right before the ambulance door closes and the ambulance drives off, is you hear him tell Cookie that he loves her, alright, that's the last thing we see of Robbie, ambulance drives off. You, you, you tell Mike and Taz, talk about it on Impact the next week of what happened. They say, oh, you know, this was graphic. We can't show all of what happened on TV. And you have them, Robbie and Cookie off TV for a few weeks to sell the injury. Uh, in the meantime, Brother Ray is on Impact. He beats down a few jobbers, uh, some smaller guys, X Division dudes. Uh, make sure every opponent is somebody smaller than him. You want to get across the whole bully thing. At some point, you have him harass another woman and say something like, You saw what happened to the last bitch who told me no. You, you know, people already hate Brother Ray. You can make them boo him. So after a few more weeks of him just beating up people smaller than him and being the big bully, Robbie E comes back. He comes out and he goes after Brother Ray. He just comes through the crowd after one of Brother Ray's matches. He managed to get a few shots in before Brother Ray gets away and runs. And when you bring him back, the Jersey Shore shit is gone. No skinny jeans, no white belt, no fist pumping. He just come back. He's got a pissed look on his face. His eyes are a little watery. He goes out to Brother Ray. And then you build to the match. And these two guys can have a nice undercard feud for months. They, they can feud for a good couple of months. And you end the feud with um 
Robbie E beating Ray in some match where Ray loses and has to retire, like some kind of career match or something. And there you go. A simple storyline that will reestablish um Robbie E as a baby face. He's away from there. He is a non title feud, so you have to worry about a belt. Brother Ray's a good heel that will get people booing. He's he's still decent enough in the ring so they can put on good matches. I think both are okay guys in the ring. It'll be a good undercard feud that you can do somewhere down the line. After it'll reestablish Robbie E, it'll build him up. And so the next time you want to put a belt on Robbie E, people won't be so mad about it because he'll have proven. He'll use this feud would be what he does to prove that he's ready to go up the card. If he has a good feud and a good matches with Brother Ray, then it'll show that he's ready to move on up the card. And now you let him run with the X Division title or, or the TV title for a little bit and, and work with him on the card. And now you have yourself a, a nice baby face that you want to do. Um, so, that's about all for this second edition of Regimmicking. Uh, please leave your comments in the video section of what you thought about my thoughts to re-gimmick Alicia Fox and Robbie E. Um, if there's someone else that you would like to suggest for the next edition of re-gimmicking, anybody you think has a shitty gimmick and you want to want to give them a new one, leave a comment in leave a comment in the uh, comment section and I'll um, consider them and see what I can come up with. So, this is the Shadow Ranger. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.